Welcome to the Listening Time Podcast. Hey everybody, this is Connor and you're listening to episode 78 of the Listening Time Podcast. I hope you're all doing well today. Remember that if you want my specialized training, you can become a Listening Time member, super member, family member, or the new tier is Listening Time VIP. Uh, Remember that with this new level, this new tier, you can sign up and you'll be able to ask me questions and I'll answer your questions in video format uh, every week. I'm going to do a Q&A session every week where I answer my VIP questions that I get from all of my listening time VIPs. And uh, I'll do this every week, and you'll also get all of the other benefits that a Listening Time family member gets. You'll get all of my training, my seminars, my bonus episodes, the advanced podcast episodes, all of that. So if that's something you're interested in, then click on the link in the episode description below this episode. That's patreon.com slash listening time and sign up today. All right. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about winter. We're going to talk about this season. I've already done an episode on seasons in general, and I think I've done a bonus podcast episode on the season of autumn And I can't remember if I already did one on summer or not, but I know I did one on autumn, but uh, I thought that it would be good for me to talk about winter in this episode because we're getting closer to the winter season and it's something that's on my mind. So we'll talk about that today. I'll talk about some of the positives, the negatives, and some of the activities that people do in winter. So before we start, remember that you have the transcript available for this episode. That's also in the episode description below the episode, so click on that if you need it. And remember that you can listen to this episode as many times as you need until you eventually understand everything everything that I'm saying without using the transcript. That should be your goal with this podcast. And if you like this podcast, please give it a five-star rating and share it with anyone else who might find it useful. Share it with your friends and family members who are learning English. This really helps me. It helps the podcast grow and it will help your friends and family. All right. Let's get started. Are your ears ready? You know what time it is. It's listening time. Okay, so let's talk about the winter season. So at the time of recording this, it's still November. And I think when this episode is released, it will still be uh, the end of November, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but winter is approaching. Uh, In English, when we say something is approaching, this means that it's getting closer. So for example, I could say, the man approached me and asked me a question. This means that the man came up to me. He uh, got closer to me. So winter is approaching. So this is something on people's minds now. Uh, And here in my city where I live in Mexico, uh, winter is pretty mild. Remember that in English, the word mild is the opposite of extreme. So when something is mild, that means it's not too strong or too extreme. It's lighter in a way. So winter is pretty mild. So I would say that normally the temperature uh, doesn't get too cold. It doesn't get too low here. Um, Usually in the afternoon, uh, the temperature is still around 25 degrees or so, maybe a little less. That's pretty typical of the winter time here. 
So you can imagine that it's still a pretty nice uh, season here in terms of weather. In the early morning, uh, the temperature can definitely get pretty low for Mexican standards. It might drop down to eight or seven degrees uh, early in the morning. But this is when almost nobody is outside, like at 4 a.m., for example. But uh, during the normal hours of the day, it stays pretty warm throughout the day. Uh, it's a little cold for the people here, but for other people in other countries, uh, they would probably consider this to be pretty warm temperature for the winter time. So the temperature is still pretty warm here during the winter. Um, however, the days are shorter, of course, because the sun sets earlier. In English, when we say that the sun sets, this just means that the sun goes down. So the sun sets earlier during the winter. So during the shortest days of the year, the sun might go down around 6 p.m., for example. So uh, after that time, it's dark and it's nighttime. Um, I don't like this, as you probably know by now. I like long days uh, when the sun sets late, uh, but I can't do anything about this to change it. Uh, so I think this year, uh, this winter season, I'm gonna try to take advantage of uh, this time period and take more walks at night, take more walks after the sun goes down and enjoy my city in a different way. Uh, because I haven't really walked a lot at night the past couple of years. Uh, I'm usually home uh, before the sun goes down. Uh, but I think it would be nice to change things up a little bit and start to enjoy the nighttime uh, during this season because there are more hours of nighttime and I don't want to be sad or depressed about this and so I want to try to go out and take advantage of this season and enjoy the night a little more. And during the day, I definitely enjoy this season because it's almost always sunny here uh, during the winter time. As I mentioned, the temperature isn't that low and the sky is always blue. There are very few clouds and it's sunny and it's very nice in the winter. So I definitely enjoy the daytime and I hope I can enjoy the nighttime a little more this year. All right, so let's talk about some of the positives and negatives of this season, in my opinion. Let me start with the negatives, and then I'll talk about the positives. Uh, so, of course, the biggest negative for most people is the weather. This will definitely vary depending on where you live. Like I said, here where I live, the weather isn't that big of a negative. But if you live in a cold country, the weather can definitely be something that you struggle with during this time period. Uh, I remember that when I was in Paris in 2019, uh, it was November and it was the middle of the day. And I remember being outside and eating a hamburger uh, at a park and I had to take my gloves off my hands. Uh, your gloves are the things you put on your hands when it's cold. Uh, I had to take my gloves off to eat my hamburger. And I remember that my hands were freezing. I had never felt something like this in my life before. It was the worst uh, cold that I had ever experienced uh, when I was eating that hamburger. Uh, I was shaking, I was shivering, my hands were almost numb. Uh, in English, when we say that something is numb, that means that it has no feeling, it has no sensation. 
So my hands were so cold that they were almost numb and it was miserable. And I remember thinking, it's only November and it's the middle of the day. I can't imagine uh, what life is like during the real winter time uh, at night or early in the morning. I remember thinking that it would be impossible for me to live in a country like that during that season. And so when I think about the experience that many people have during these months, uh, the really cold weather that they have to deal with, uh, it makes me feel grateful uh, that I don't live in one of these places. Uh, in English, when we say that you're grateful, this means that you're thankful, uh, you feel fortunate. So I feel very grateful that I don't have to endure the winter season uh, in a cold country. And I know that in particular, uh, the winter this year might be a little harder for some people uh, because of problems with energy and other things. And so I really hope that the winter isn't too cold this year because I know that a lot of people will struggle with this and I can't imagine going through a real winter uh, because for me, uh, it's very hard to deal with this type of weather. Uh, I don't like it. I'm not used to it. And I'm grateful that I don't have to endure this. Uh, so the weather is the big negative when it comes to winter. Uh, of course, shorter days can also be a negative, like I mentioned. Uh, people uh, don't get to see as much sunlight. And because of that, uh, one of the other negatives that comes along with winter is a lot of people feel more stressed. Uh, they feel more depressed during this season. And one of the big reasons for that is because of uh, the shorter days. Uh, people don't see the sun as much. Uh, they don't get as much vitamin D from the sun. And when they get off work, it's already dark. And it's just a little depressing uh, during this season. If you never get to be outside in the sun, this can be hard to deal with. So a lot of people feel stressed uh, because of that. And they also feel stressed because of the holiday season, um, because they usually have to buy more things, spend more money. And so this can definitely cause some stress in people's lives. Uh, if money is tight and they still need to buy things, buy presents, uh, that can definitely be hard for people. In English, when we say the phrase money is tight, this means that you don't have a lot of available money at that time. You don't have a lot of money to spend. So oftentimes money is tight during this season, but you still need to spend money because it's the holiday season. That's definitely stressful. Uh, and so overall, winter can be a more stressful season for a lot of people because of the shorter days, because of the expenses, and sometimes just the holidays in general can be stressful because some people um, have problems with their family, maybe they don't get along with their in-laws or whatever it may be. Uh, this can also cause them stress because they have to deal with these problems uh, during this season often. So overall, uh, that can be a negative thing uh, about winter. However, there are definitely some positives when it comes to winter. Uh, the biggest one for me is Christmas. Uh, I love this holiday. I love this season. In the U.S. during December, you can see evidence of Christmas everywhere. You see the lights, the decorations, you hear the music. 
everything looks like Christmas. Uh, this is a really fun time for people. It's a festive time. Uh, and in Mexico, where I live, uh, it's not as apparent uh, that it's Christmas time. When you walk outside, you don't see as many decorations. You don't hear the music. It's definitely a little less Christmassy here in Mexico. Um, but it's still nice during this season. You can still see decorations and uh, you can still feel it a little bit, but it's definitely stronger in the U.S. So that's something really cool about uh, the winter season is that it's Christmas time, uh, at least for me, that's cool. And there are a lot of festivities like events and Christmas markets and of course gatherings uh, with your friends or family. Um, you get to see people that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, so that's a nice thing as well because of uh, the holiday season. People get together with their loved ones and they spend quality time together. So that's definitely a positive. And I think that another positive regarding winter is that uh, it's a cozy season. Uh, in English, the word cozy is a little hard to define. When we say that something feels cozy, we're saying that something feels warm, it feels friendly, it feels uh, nice, it makes us feel protected. It's kind of all of those things together. And so, for example, when you stay in a cabin in the wintertime and you're uh, in front of the fireplace and you light a fire and uh, you're there and it's warm uh, inside, uh, that's a cozy feeling. That could be considered a cozy cabin, for example. So I say that wintertime is a cozy season because in a lot of places it's cold outside and so people try to escape that uh, by staying indoors and um, being under the blankets and lighting a fire and drinking warm drinks like hot chocolate and things like that. Um, it's a very cozy feeling. Uh, it's a very nice feeling to be uh, with your family inside uh, in that atmosphere while it's cold outside. Uh, that feeling is very nice for a lot of people. It's a cozy feeling. So that's definitely another positive when it comes to winter. And one more positive is all the activities that you can do during the winter. So for example, skiing and snowboarding are really fun activities that you can try uh, when it's snowing. So if you go to a mountain, uh, you can ski or snowboard or do other things as well in the snow. Uh, I skied a little bit when I was a kid, but I didn't like it that much. Uh, however, I tried snowboarding a few times as an adult, and I think I've talked about this on a couple different episodes, and I really like snowboarding. Uh, I've only been a few times, and I hope to go again in the future, uh, but it's a really fun sport. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, so that's something that you can only do in the winter in most places because you need the snow, you need that type of weather. So that's a fun one. And a lot of people like ice skating. Uh, I've been ice skating a handful of times. Uh, in English, when we say a handful of something, it's like saying um, several or maybe a little more than several. So maybe five or six times or something like that. Uh, so I've been ice skating a handful of times. And even though it's enjoyable for me, it's very hard. So I'm not good at it. 
uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult for me to keep my balance. So I've fallen numerous times while ice skating and it hurts when you fall because the ground is hard and it's not a pleasant experience when that happens. But overall, it's still a fun activity uh, if you can keep your balance and uh, stay on your feet. Uh, and there are many places where you can ice skate in the U.S., in the middle of the city even. In many places, they set up ice skating rinks uh, downtown or other places in the city during the winter time and you can go there with your friends and family and have a really nice time and that's something that people usually do in the winter and only in the winter and in general if you have the opportunity to see the snow in the winter to go to a snowy area you can do all kinds of fun things. You can have snowball fights. Uh, this is where you make balls with the snow and you throw them at each other. This is always a fun activity for kids. Uh, you can build snowmen. Uh, this is where you build the little man with big balls of snow. You've probably seen this in the movies. Uh, so it's fun to build a snowman. And there are plenty of other things that you can do if you're in the snow. So there are a lot of activities uh, that you can only do in the winter because you have access to the snow. All right, well, why don't we stop there for today? I hope this episode was interesting for you, and I hope it was good practice for your listening. Remember that you can become a Listening Time VIP now if you want to ask me your questions about English, about language learning, about grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, whatever you want. You can ask me questions and I'm going to answer them every week in a Q&A session, a question and answer session where I record a video of myself answering uh, the questions that I get from my listening time VIPs. So you'll have that every single week if you become a listening time VIP. And you'll also have all the other benefits that a listening time family member has, right? You'll have my advanced episodes, the bonus episodes, all of my training, etc. So make sure to click on the link in the episode description below this episode. That's patreon.com slash listening time. And if you sign up, you'll get all of those benefits. And of course, you also have the transcript available for this episode in the episode description as well. So click on that if you need it. And if you like this podcast, please give it a five-star rating and share it with anyone else who might find it useful. All right. Well, thank you for listening to this episode, and I'll talk to you on the next episode of Listening Time.